Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have an indigenous Karen who doesn't think evictions apply to her because she's on sovereign land. So let's begin. Scares up here, start eviction. Sheriff's office, hand us up to eviction. For everybody inside this residence. Okay, we're serving eviction. Open up the door, ma'am. I'm not evicting an eviction from nobody. I've been here for 20 years. I'm not evicting. You go through a process. I haven't been through no process. You can't nobody just come up here. My name is Miss Green. Okay, Miss Green, Deputy Sutton. We post a notice on your door. That's not, it said unknown. I'm a known person. I don't know what that means. Miss Green, is anybody else in there with you? My grandson is in here with me. Okay, how's your grandson? He's 19. 19. Okay. Why didn't you go to the courthouse when the notice was posted on your door? I'm not an unknown person. I'm Zoanne Green. I've been here for 20 years. They don't have no contracts with me to be doing nothing with anyone. So I don't know why they're here talking about they can evict me and all this stuff. So you go past foreclosure to evict, to get the, listen, this is a scam and the bank is a scam. No, sovereign citizens are the scammers. Whatever idiot you paid for your step-by-step -step guide to ruining your life, that guy's a scammer. Now the banks can be shitty, no doubt, but I bet there's a signed contract somewhere that you were honoring for years, if not decades, before you decided that you just weren't gonna pay your mortgage anymore because some jackass on YouTube told you so. And so they don't have no jurisdiction over me. I'm indigenous to this land. This is my property. I've been here. That's why they can't touch me. Now this person comes over here talking about, oh, I just uh, purchased this house from an auction with no paperwork in his hand. He just caught, I could have killed him. You, uh, you don't come up to nobody's home talking about what you got. You ain't got nothing in your hand. You're just talking. Like, who the fuck does that? I don't know. Maybe someone who wants the house they own back. If I'm supposed to be evicted, my name is not unknown. Everybody knows it. This my life, the light bill has been in my name for 20 years. I have been here. This is my home. Okay, don't nobody, can't nobody buy somebody's home off from under them if they don't have no paperwork or no nothing. Okay, That's I'm not I'm right. So you can't um, evict me for nothing. So my question to you, Ms. Green, why didn't you go to the courthouse? Because the papers say unknown. I'm not an unknown. If you have something, I, I, I all my neighbors know me. I'm part of the neighborhood watch. Why is my name not on any paperwork? The, to explain that to me. I'm not unknown. I'm very known. So I don't know what kind of eviction you're doing, but it's a, it's illegal right. and I'm, you can't I'm, evict I'm me. Doing a court order now. Well, I don't know who what court order, what name is it under? It's under 3718. That's not a name, that's an address. Yeah, exactly. It's the address that you're squatting at. And if you'd have let the sheriff finish, you would have heard him say that it applies to all of the residents and all of the occupants at that address which includes the indigenous ones, the indignant ones, and the ignorant ones. Let me explain to you, Mr. Green, while I'm here. And the court order was signed by the judge saying to do the eviction. Under who, for who? I'm just explaining okay, to you, it's for the property. No, you can't abuse it. You, really? So you normal. think you, you can come here them? and evict somebody off of a property and you don't even have their name? Okay, it doesn't require me to have a name. You want to read this portion? Are you fucking serious to Yes, ma'am. I'm going to let you read this. I don't need to read none of that. I don't want to read it. It don't have nothing to do with me. It has to do with this property. It what? says... This is my property under my name. You don't even have a name on there. The screen? So I'm not leaving my property. You want to fucking bet? They have guns, size, and a signed court order by a judge. And all you have is sovereign stupidity. Who do you think is going to win? State of Florida, which we're in, to the Orange County Sheriff's Office, which county we're in. We're so you're gonna throw me out of my house right now? I have no choice, man. This is the says yes. Y'all must come, come th throw all my shit out there. Since you're gonna do that so to, says, to an indigenous person so of this land, so you go do it. All persons. You're not removing me from my property. So you're about to take me out of here? How? Voluntarily, preferably. You, you, listen, I'm telling you, you're not removing me out of my property. Okay. 
Okay. I'm not leaving, so. Okay. We don't want to take you to jail, officer. Really? You. Right. This is pathetic. Y'all are something else. And we, God we will deal want, with we you. Don't want to get to that God problem. will deal with you. Okay. I'm not leaving my house. This is my property. You you, you walk up here with a guy. Where What is he doing? Who is that white man coming up here trying to take black people's homes? Wait, me? What the fuck did I do? No, you walked up here with a guy with no name on no paper. He won, sir. There's no name on, on that paper. You think you can throw me out of my house? That is against the law. I'm sorry. You can't. All right, sir, you got to leave, man. Got a court order move off. I gotta leave. Look, all my stuff is in here. All my life is in here. I've been here for 20 years. Really? She did. She's on the Just like that's your mother? My granddaughter, this is my grandson. Just like I was praying to your grandmother. We got a court order to remove all person from this address. I need the supervisor to come over here or somebody. Because I'm not, this is not happening to you. I don't, they think they can just come and take you out your home. That is a shame. No, it's a shame that you have grandkids and still haven't learned to adult for yourself yet. It's a shame that you let some obscure and nonsensical belief system put you in a position to lose what you claim to be about 20 years of equity on your home. And then it's a shame that you let your belief system get in the way of doing something simple, like showing up to court and fighting for your home. To be honest, I'd be ashamed to be you. I need somebody you over your home. That's what we're doing right now. You can't evict some. They don't even have my name on her paperwork. They just want to throw me up out of here. And that guy over there did it. He came when it got them. With no paperwork, just come to your house. Y'all do that to black people all day long. He got some paperwork with nobody's name on it. And he thinks he can th for the property, not the persons that's in the property. Step out, sir. You can step out there. You're not in trouble. I'm not scared of these people. And I don't even know why you're showing it to him. I'm the grown person. You didn't want to look at it, man. I don't need that. It ain't my name ain't okay, on he's it. He's in the door, right? Yeah, but my okay. name ain't on it. Okay. We're in the state of Florida, right? You don't even have his glasses Our on. Orange County Sheriff's Office. You are commanded to remove all persons from 3718 Pay Avenue. I can't believe Avenue this. I'm, I'm, I'm really appalled this right company in possession of property. This is a shame. So I don't know where they think I'm going to go. I don't have you any don't place to go. I'm going to sit here on this damn board. To remove the person out there? To remove all persons. That's, that's a shame. So, that is, so your best interest is to gather your belongings? Because we're I, don't have the, I don't have nowhere to go. Well, it looks like you put yourself between a rock and a Moroccan tsunami. You see, your sovereign belief system has caused you to lose any and all remedies the state could have given you because you failed to show up to court. This could have been rent relief, social services, and extra time to pick a new place. All of these things and more could have helped you out, but the court has no jurisdiction, right? You can go to the court and try to fight this. Really? But I, but I need to get out of my house I can't first. stop this eviction. But that is a shame. And, you, and look at you. Yeah, we don't enjoy doing this. Yes, you do. I have you, a court you think, to you're some, you think okay, that so this is beautiful. This, this eviction is going to happen. I'm not leaving my house. I'm not. I've been living here for 20 years. You want me to just up and leave because you brought your, you came over here on my porch telling me what I got to do. My name ain't on nothing. So you're going to take me to jail? Ma'am, we don't want to do that. You don't want to, but you will in a heartbeat. You don't care about nobody. You have nothing inside of that, that is not Nothing. Right. And, and I pray for you because something will happen to both of y'all for coming here trying to remove somebody from their house. Cousin, that's a piece of shit. That ain't a piece of foreigner. It's not a on my it's land. Of the court you will pay dearly, honey, if I leave here. Because I don't have no place to go and I'm not leaving. I got too much shit to get out of here. So, I don't know what we're going to do, but you might need to go back to the judge and tell him I said to call me. That's something you should have did, man. I don't need to do that. Him. That's not, none, none of it is on my, my name is not on any, they're not talking to me. Okay. So you're not a person? I'm not, my name, I have a name and, a, and an identity. But you are a person, right? It doesn't say person. Yes, it 
It says, says it needs to say the person that has been here, the light bill is in my name for 20 so that's years. You, you have to talk to the court about so I don't need to talk to no court. I'm indigenous. This is my land. Alright, so as we close out this video, we have a clip from the actual homeowner to break it down from his perspective. Well, we got a bit of a situation. Bought this house at the auction. She's claiming it's sovereign property. We had to go through the eviction process. Uh, she's called me many names. Looks like she has requested all the officers' names and badge numbers. And they are writing this information down. Yeah, she's asked for all their badge numbers and names. I guess she can file a complaint. She could have showed up for court, by the way. But her reason for not going to the court date was she has a name. Her name is not unknown. She's going back to the door to do something. She unlocked the door, went back in for some reason. Don't know why. The police officers are going in with them. They have a car. And for the record, it is a BMW. <laughs> Who wants to bet me money that that BMW is on a repossession list? All right, guys, that's the end of the video. A special thank you to the user on Twitter who sent me this video to react to. And if you ever have a video you want to see me react to or want to see me talk about, feel free to email it to me. Send it to me over Discord or send it to me via Twitter. All those links will be down in the description below. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.